fan of the preseason. A fan on Twitter said Odell should play zero snaps in the preseason next year, and Odell agreed, and he responded by just writing zero. Last preseason, he sprained his ankle, and then he broke the same ankle in week five, which put him out for the rest of the season. Shannon, do you have a problem with Odell saying this? Skip, I wish he hadn't have done it. Skip, we're six months away from even playing a preseason snap, and we're having to discuss this. You and I both know there have been guys that haven't played a whole lot of preseason snaps. Adrian Peterson rarely played after his rookie year in the preseason. LaDainian Thompson probably went 10 or 11 years without playing. But that's a, an organizational, that's the head coaching and the higher-ups make that decision. Don't you put that out there. First of all, this is a new coach coming in. This yep. is a new system. So he, was, he want to see how you – he's going to want to see how you and Eli or this offense is going to look. So he's supposed to just like, you know, hey, I know Odell's going to be all right. No, that's not how it works, Odell. And maybe you don't play any preseason snaps. But why are, we making, why are you making this an issue six months out? So a lot of times he brings a lot of undue attention and un, uh, undue criticism. Mm -hmm. If Odell doesn't play in the preseason, that's Pat Sherman. That's the Giants management. That's their decision. T remove that from you, uh, uh, Odell. D why are we discussing? This is February. Why would you even respond to that? Just like, hey, I'm just going to be ready to go. Preseason snaps or no preseason snap? Mm. 13 going to be ready to ride. <sighs> so I'm going to preface by my response to your response by saying I like Odell. I think his heart is good. I think he's a good kid. Good, He's still a kid to me. <sighs> but he still doesn't get it. And his biggest problem is that by sort of by birth, the position that he was best at playing, which is wide receiver in football, because he's 5'11", he's almost 200 pounds, so he's put together pretty well. Mm -hmm. But he's made to be a receiver in football, and receiver in football is a very dependent position, as you well know. Absolutely. Right? Okay? And it's different than running back for Adrian Peterson, LaDainian Tomlinson, because they don't really have to work much at taking a handoff. You just take the handoff. We could just do it. Run to the hole. Sleep. Run yeah, to the open hole. Run yeah. to the hole. I remember Emmett Smith under North Turner in Dallas. That They just scrapped the whole system basically and said, Emmett right or Emmett left. It's just, it, it's not that. It's the one position that can translate quickly, and you don't need a lot of preseason snaps because they, they actually could, could take years off your, your career. Right. Because you don't need any collisions. Right. You, you, you know how to run into people or not get or, run into. Or not run into yeah, people. That's right. So I don't know how many times this offseason I've looked up watching a basketball, some big basketball game, and there's Odell. He's either courtside or in the next row, depending on how good his tickets he could get. And I think to myself, why wouldn't he be somewhere with Eli right now working? Because that position – is a rapport position. It's yes. connection, it's wavelength, it's anticipation, it's timing, it's all those good things that you can't get without actually working with your quarterback. Right. Right. And to me, there have been these passing camps in the past that Eli will conduct at Duke University because of David Cutcliffe. And Odell, he's too busy. He's got too much stuff going on. He's touring with Drake in Europe and whatever <laughs> else. And that's fine. I get it. He's just a kid, and he should have as much fun as possible. But he's not maximizing his ability to catch footballs. And he goes to NBA games, and he's fallen into the old Terrell Owens syndrome because T.O. loved him. Some NBA still does. And he envied greatly NBA players because it's not a dependent position. If you're LeBron James, you, you can, if you choose, you can dribble the ball up the floor. Right. You, you can actually pretty much pick how many shots you're going to get in a game, how many touches. You can command touches, demand touches in your offense because you're LeBron James. But he can't. You know, he has to depend, Odell, on Eli to, to say you're open or you're not open right. or for the play call from the play caller right. to even designate that you're going to be the primary receiver and on Skip, a play. This is an entirely different offense. Now it's all brand new. Yeah. This is not an offense that you've been in three, four years. This yeah. is a new offense, new verbiage. Not a lot of the combinations, I'm sure, but the hearing the verbiage. So you want Eli to have all this, you know, to go out there and play preseason and work with those other receivers yeah. and then come, come start game one. There go Odell. How's that going to work? 
No, seriously. It's hard, man. It's it's you're completely dependent on your chemistry with the quarterback right. and vice versa. Because I, I remember changing, you know, my first three years we play playing the yeah. Dan Reeves, the head, the head coach. He gets fired, and here come Wade Phillips with Jim Fossil, offensive coordinator. John and I have been playing together for three years, Skip. But here in different verbiage, being yeah. in different places, we need to work on that. You and do. then Mike comes in. So now I had been with John okay. for five years. All right. But we had to start all over again because a lot of the routes were going to be different than what I was going to be asked to do. So I had to get back on page with John, and he needed to know, okay, mm -hmm. this is what he's going to do. This is how he's going to run this route. So I, I get it. If, oh, and, and if Pat Shermer and the organization says, Odell, we don't want you to play, let that be their decision. Mm -hmm. But for you to put this out, their head is six months away. I don't even really know what good could have possibly come. Just tweet, hey, mm. I'm going to be ready. Whether I play zero snaps or I play 100 snaps, yeah. Odell going to be ready to go come. Yeah, and unfortunately, he is playing a game that is extremely injurious, much more so than basketball Absolutely. Is. It can happen to a Gordon Hayward in basketball, too, but yes. it's freakish, right? Yes. yes. But in this case, he got hurt. He got hurt. Badly. Yes. And so now he's having to pay the price, and he's saying, eh, I don't even want to play any preseason games. And I don't blame him for that, except at some point it's start gonna, it'll hurt his production with Eli right. within the new offense. Right. It's just given. It's part of the deal. It's the price you're going to have to pay. And plus, I think the thing is, Skip, that contract. Still wants that contract he wants extension. The contract. So basically, this is the fifth year option. He he doesn't want to play on that fifth year option. He sees what he sees what Antonio Brown's making. He sees what Julio Jones is making. He mm. sees what uh, the guy up in Green Bay just got. He like whoa whoa whoa. Let's mm. let's. I don't want to play any preseason under this fifth year option. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go ahead and give me this long term extension. Now nah, you know. I can okay. go on that no, and get you a couple it. of reps. So has he been catching off season passes from Eli Manning? Nope. He's been in L.A. working out with Johnny Manziel. I saw him at the All-Star game. Okay. With, yeah. That's him at the All-Star game? Yeah, he was yeah, there. Yeah, he was there. Yeah. He's always around the big he's game. He's on his uh, Hey, yeah, you give me the Jordan party because I was at the Jordan party. That thing was well, nice. How many times do we have to I hear was, that? That thing was nice. Yeah. I, think, I don't know how West they field. let you in. Huh? I don't know how they let you in. What? Well, after Just all, stop you right at the door. I had on my Who's the goat? Say I, it. After Who's all the goat? I was like. Yeah, that's right. I can't tell a lie. And how many shots it's have you Ron! taken? How many shots have you taken at Michael Jordan? I ain't taking no shots at his Michael. His eyes are bloodshot. His yeah, because are... we be on that hand. Uh, That's why yeah. them cigars. Joy, you know how we do the most slow burners, the more big, them like five inches, Joy, the big old round, them mm -hmm. slow burner ones. Mm. Draw all day. Is Mike Bortles really worth more than 50 million bucks? Huh? We'll discuss that next.